Welcome back to the Big Trail Show. Otis Kirk joining me. And Otis, you know, it's been an interesting week on the Hill for Arkansas football. Some good news, some bad news. Let's start with the bad news. Get it out of the way. Xavion Capers the decommitting on Friday. What's the story behind that? Well, you know, he was the first one to commit to Arkansas in this, this class. And much like the one last year from Memphis, the defensive lineman, he was the first one and he decommitted. Uh, Capers, the thing about Xavion is he started taking visits. It's, he, no more did he commit to Arkansas until he went to Georgia Tech. Then he, you know, he's uh, went to he's been to South Carolina, Tennessee, Auburn. It's just that uh, you know he made an early commitment, and I think mm -hmm. you know a couple of things happened. I think one, he probably feels like he rushed into his mm -hmm. decision, and now he's wanting to take more time and look the field over and stuff. And I think he's getting a little bit more attention maybe than he thought he would. He's been moved up to four star with some of the recruiting services. Some of them he was already a four star. He should have been all along. I mean he's. He's a great player. Mm -hmm. He's a real good player. I mean, but uh, I don't think he'll be coming to Arkansas now. All right, let's talk about some good news now. Got some official visits that are going to start on yeah. Wednesday. Let's start with John Gentry. Running back, Arkansas was his first offer. He's He's got several offers. He came out with this top group this week. Arkansas obviously was in it, and then they're going to get a visit from him. Uh, He's, he's the running back that they've offered, was the first one, you know, as I said, to offer him. So it means they really like him. He helped lead his team. He's from Galena Park, North Shore. Led them to a 16-0 record, Alyssa. Mm -hmm. won, won state championship, obviously. And uh, he's a good player. He, he's got probably 15, 20 offers. And uh, Arkansas, you know, Jeff Trailer's done a good job on him. And they'll get him here and see how he likes it. And they're wanting to sign some running backs in this class. They're really short. They're on depth. I mean, they're okay this season, but mm -hmm. beyond this season, you, they, you know, you never know if Rakeem Boyd's going to leave early. You know, Devall Whaley is a senior, mm -hmm. so you know there's always a chance. And then you know you got people getting hurt and stuff. That's a position that you can start out the season with a ton of players. <laughs> At the end of the oh. season, you're you're you know you're trying to find somebody. Find you know. somebody who's yeah, fast on the exactly. secondary to transition over or something. Yeah, exactly. All right, moving on. Mason Mangum. Let's talk about him. Yeah, he's fast receiver. And there's a, a kid that's committed to Arkansas, a wide receiver from Austin West Lake. And by the way, Savion Williams from Marshall. We talked about him mm -hmm. recently on the show. So Arkansas has got two receivers committed. Right. I should have mentioned that with uh, Capers, but Mango's one of them. He's super fast, one of the fastest kids at the combines. Uh, really, I mean, he's a guy that you look at, and he's very good in track, mm -hmm. very good in football. Just not the biggest, but but you, you, it's good to have the six four kids like like Williams and like Capers were. But it's also good to have some kids like five eleven, six mm -hmm. foot, like Mangum, uh, you know, who can fly. And so yeah, yeah he's, he was a good get for Arkansas. He committed the day of the spring game. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. All right, and he will make again and make an official visit on yeah. Wednesday. And then lastly, Blaine Atoll making a visit as well. Yeah, the best player in Arkansas, in my opinion, in the senior class. Well in the class of 2020 and uh, he is a defensive end. He's got Arkansas this week and then he'll go to Tennessee next week. And you know, uh, uh, Oklahoma, Mississippi and Memphis are the other teams involved with him. Uh, you know, everybody early was picking him to go to Arkansas, then everybody started picking him to go to Oklahoma. But Arkansas is getting an official visit. Mark Smith, Steve Caldwell have done a good job on him. And they're going, you know, they're giving him something to think about and uh, he's a, Kid about 6'5", about 248 pounds or so, 247, and 6'6", uh, 6'5", you know, like I said, close to 250, but just a kid that's a, just an outstanding player. All right, let's talk about Vernon Broughton. What does he bring to the table? Well, everything. What does he brought to the table? There you go. <laughs> mm -hmm. He brings a little <laughs> bit of everything. He brought, he brought half of uh, his half Houston with him on his official visit last week here. <laughs> he is... Uh, uh, Big time defensive tackle. He's been to Texas. He's been to Arkansas. He's going to visit Ohio State. He's got. He. This is a kid that can go. You know, LSU. He can go anywhere he wants to. He's got offers all over the country, but uh, he's narrowed it down to six schools. Arkansas made the cut. Got one of the visits. And uh, the reason I really talk about him is because you know everybody considers him a lock for Texas, but his family and him loved it here. Mm -hmm. He absolutely, they loved it at Arkansas. Arkansas, you know, Coach Morris and them rolled out, you know, rolled out the red carpet for him. Otis, always rocking it. We appreciate you. <laughs> Thanks. All right, the pig trail after the break.